Hello folks, and this is Kinky, uh, doing Army Man World War Team Assault, uh, Boot Camp Part 2. Uh, as you can see, I'm trying to uh, change the characters to uh, show uh, the different skills and stuff. And that's how I found out last video about um, you can't change them for the beginning. But as you can see there, there's speed, there's stealth, and there's hit points. And like I said, I'll explain that when we actually get into the game itself. So we'll go into advanced training. Uh, basically, uh, while I found the uh, final front, I believe it is, the better uh, tutorial, uh, this one does an okay job too. Uh, basically, this is just a uh, go, the way, go all the way to the end sort of mission. And I can kind of explain more about the uh, auto aim system. I said before, you just fire like four or five shots. Uh, let's go ahead and put him where he's safe because if he dies, I have to repeat this again. So, okay. Here comes a tan, and we'll start shooting at him. As you notice, the gun begins to go low until he gets to a certain range, and then after that, it auto aims. Uh, as you notice, did the same thing there. It sh sh always shot at his feet rather than him. Uh, meaning that they tried to give a variable distance on what your effective gun range is rather than uh, letting you just all of a sudden shoot some guy 50 million miles away at barely on the screen. As uh, you'll notice on a few of the videos of the uh, Final Front and the uh, World at War, the main game itself, uh, I can't snipe across the map like I could... Uh, in those type of games. This time I actually have to uh, kind of get close enough. I have to actually engage them. And uh, while this is kind of, I do have an issue with that. It is kind of fair, I suppose. Uh, and like I said, I think they were just trying to f kind of make up for what they uh, screwed up in uh, Final Front, having one shot take like five hours before the next shot kind of feels like that way anyway. But anyway, uh, as you can see here, I'm trying to shoot the barrels and I can't aim the gun, so all the bullets shoot over the barrels. So then I have to adjust myself to uh, take out the barrels. See, I gotta go way that far out to uh, take out those barrels. And like I said, that's really an annoyance, but at least the auto-aim kicks in when it counts and the game runs rather smoothly compared to the other one. I also have no uh, ninja terrain that's five feet higher than the other, than what it appears sort of thing is going on here. They actually did try to uh, make a playable environment. And I know I'm saying this in the boot camp levels, but uh, uh, like I said, I did have to play the game to do my uh, comparison of B-17 bomber moments. So um, that's kind of my experiences with the game, as you can see. Nice uh, rail explosion of barrels. Took me a little bit to get in range, but it's kind of cool. And you just notice there, pow, pow, pow. Like I said, with the shadow there, he has the fastest speed, so uh, yeah, he and he's a marksman class, so he fires quite decently compared to all the other guys. And like I said, there's just no manual aim unless you get a sniper rifle. And what I'm trying to do there is take out that barrel, and as you can see, all the auto aim mechanics just won't let me. And I tried it in different positions, and like I said, that is just one beef that I have with this game, and that's the only beef, and it'll only bother me for one mission, and that's it. And uh, that will probably be the only mission that you'll probably hear me ranting about of the auto aim on. I said the other levels are pretty pretty fair about it. You don't need to worry about it. Let's go ahead and uh, get, get in kind of hiding position here so we can move up the other guy. See, he's kind of like at the other end of the map here. And we'll just wait on him to uh, catch up. As you can see, he moves quite slow. 
And that's why you want to have one soldier just enti just entirely clear the field and then have the other guy walk in when you need him. Because if you lose one guy, then they both uh, lose the mission. Because you need both of them to uh, finish level. And that is kind of a, an understandable, but an annoyance at the same time. Also, uh, fencing. Well, nothing we can do about it. Those type of fences don't really appear, so... <coughs> I apologize for the coughing. But, uh, they don't really appear too often, so it's not too much of a bother. I'm not worrying about it. And there's the, t there's the flag. Uh, this is this would be a fun co-op game, and uh, fortunately, the uh, there other than a couple co-op levels, there isn't really much to play on co-op. That's why I can't bring anybody else to play it. Anyway, this will be Kingy signing out. So uh, thank you, and I hope you enjoyed it. Later.